Okay, it's a new week in our class on teaching and learning with digital technology. This week's topic is project-based learning and copyright. Um, but really a lot of your learning about copyright happened last week. Um, this week it's more about open licensing and some ways to circumvent those copyright laws that are super overly restrictive in the US. Not that I have any opinion on that matter. Anyway, um, project-based learning and copyright. So you're going to learn about open licensing and you'll take a look at some of these options for open licensing and just finding some remixes and thinking about this in our society. Um, and then have a few readings include, well I guess there is more reading about copyright. Yeah, kindergarten copyright, copyright rules every student should know, copyright for teachers, and copyright.gov has a lot of good resources to know about and then visualizing with technologies from the textbook, chapter 9. And then we have a tech talk from Brennan this week on plan book. And then uh, the copyright poster assignment. This is a discussion slash assignment for this week. But anyway, you're going to create a poster that informs your audience about copyright and fair use for their specific situation. And I think I introduced this last week, but um, just as a recap, you'll choose a different audience from the list. Could be your students, could be a, a group of teachers. It could be a business e-learning department personnel. Whichever one you want to pick, then you want to create a poster that informs this about what you can and can do with certain re cannot do with certain resources on the internet according to copyright law. So this asks you to use some of these different tools to create the poster, um, or yeah, some of the different tools: Posterini, S'more, or Canva to create the poster and provide a link to the poster there for others to see. I see we've already got one on here, which is great. And there are a lot of gray areas with copyright, as mentioned there in that comment, but yes. So create a little poster about what you can and can't do with those things for this week. And then after that, there's some learning about project-based learning, because the assignment that's upcoming is going to require some of this knowledge of project-based learning. It includes the nine elements of project-based learning, and you'll understand those after doing the reading, and that will come... Um, to fruition on the finals week where you'll have a cooperative communication project. So a um, couple reminders though, there is that project due, I'll introduce that in more depth next week, but just make sure that you understand the elements of project-based learning at this point. And then there's the intentional tech talk and integration recipe. I think most people have completed this, if not all of you, but uh, if you haven't, make sure you do that. And then constructive makerspace assignment, makerspace reflection is due on the last day of class as well, May 5th, or the last week of class, I should say. So make sure you complete that as well. You're, you're thinking about how to get that makerspace experience done. I think that a lot of you have already done that as well, but um, some have not. So just be aware of those things that are coming up and due. But just back to this week, we are doing... <coughs> the We're learning about project-based learning and copyright and doing that copyright poster assignment. All right, well, good luck on those activities, and we'll talk to you later.